David Friedman loved to make movies about making movies. It started in 1961 with the adventures of Lucky Pierre. Today, we're doing the same thing in 1984 with Matinee Idol. I love David Friedman. But before we really get into Friedman, Henri Pichard directed this movie. Three days, three movies. At the end, be on the lookout for Henri's amazing cameo. Those of you at home know I love Henri Pichard. Do you know that I love David Friedman? He produced this film. He wrote this film. And he stars in this film. I had only seen him as cameos in his movies. I've never seen him full on act. However, he gives the best interviews ever. Uh, anything was permissible for an exploitation picture as long as it was in bad taste. Being that this is a re-release, why don't we see what Jason said in the past? Have you ever seen the documentary Schlock? The Secret History of American Movies. David Friedman is in that documentary. David Friedman is in this movie. The Defilers, Scum of the Earth, Color Me Blood Red, um, Blood Feast, his most famous, although his best is Scum of the Earth. I love exploitation films. Did you know that David Friedman changed film? He created the most lucrative and my favorite genre of all time. He created it. Now he got his break in nudie cuties. As I mentioned in the intro, The Adventures of Lucky Pierre. That was him and Herschel Gordon Lewis. Bam! Now there was already a huge sexploitation genre. Nudie cuties were already a thing. However, they made like the most popular one. But that's just one little cool thing he did. They got sick of the genre. So in 1963, Herschel Gordon Lewis and David Friedman made Blood Feast. There was nothing like this. Everyone says, oh, oh, kind of Halloween, kind of Black Christmas. Blood Feast started it all. There was nothing like this before that. That same year, that amazing duo went their own separate ways. David Friedman hooked up with Lee Frost, still in 1963, and they made The Defilers, the first Ruffy. Ruffy was kind of like the nudie cutie mixed with mean violence. But Blood Feast started the slasher genre. Before they parted ways, the last film they worked on together, Color Me Blood Red, Arrow Home Video. Now this picture is released on Vinegar Syndrome. 2K scan, not a 4K scan. So someone explained to me why this looks better than most 4K scans. This film looks and sounds great. Vinegar Syndrome also released in 1967, She Freak by Friedman. This picture has some of the coolest new wave styles. Look at the camera crew. Look at the girls when they're not acting. David Friedman is on the Vinegar Syndrome release, an audio interview by him on the 2K scan, if you wanna go pick that up. This film came out in 1984, 88 minutes long. Our PG version is 20 minutes long. PG because of alcohol consumption and a wicked dominatrix outfit. Don't get the wrong idea. It's played for laughs. It's a played for laughs dominatrix outfit. How long was that? Oh, don't even tell me. Please enjoy this amazing looking movie. We're going to talk about all the actors when we come back. Let's just watch Matinee Idol. Now, Lance, the media has never commented. Any comment? Well, I'm sure you have a very busy life, and it must be a uh, draining. Not really. Well, that's what I've heard. Oh. I have all these things. I uh, hate to interrupt your interview, Mr. Hardy, but uh... okay, heat him up. Marker. What did she do? 
Okay, Phil. There's something I want you to say to both of them for me and Mr. Kuntz. Tell them to stop acting like prima donnas and finish the movie! Now, if they don't do it, they'll never start another picture together again, or separately, either. Oh, what did she do now, Phil? She did what? All right, Phil, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. Lance said something to provoke Linda, so she walked off the set. Harvey, somewhere out there, there's got to be another schmuck with a pretty face. His last three pictures netted us 1.8 mil, and that doesn't include the licensing fees. Harvey, I'm going to put out a casting call. I'm going to get two new stars. I'm going to replace them both. Just in case you've forgotten, we've taken a couple of advances for another Lance Hardy, Linda Hand picture. So, we better come up with a hearty hand picture. Hello? Hi, Ginger. No, I really don't feel like going shopping today. Well, I thought I'd just, um, I don't know, sit around by the pool and answer some fan mail. Okay, sure. All right, bye. Dear Miss Hand, I'm one of your many fans. Could I have a picture of you, your devoted fan? <laughs> How sweet. It's 78 sunny degrees on a beautiful day in Los Angeles, and you're listening to nonstop music on your favorite radio station, K-Love. K-L-O-V. Yes? Uh, Miss Linda Hand? Yes, what do you want? Uh, I'm here with the Apex Pool Service. I'm here to service you. I mean the pool. Service the pool. It's your regular day. Where's Mr. Miranda? Uh, he's in Europe on vacation. Well, the pool business must be pretty lucrative. Oh, uh, well, if it's not convenient now, I, I could come back at another time. Well, you're here now. You might as well come on in and get it done. So, what's your name? Cochran, ma'am. Just Cochran? No first name? Well, they call me Bud, ma'am. Tell you what, I'll call you Bud if you stop calling me ma'am. Make me sound like Queen Victoria. I think I'm still too young to play that part. You are the Linda Hand from the movies, aren't you? You've seen some of my films. Back home, uh, uh, a group of guys and me, we, we go to the theater almost every week. It won't bother you if I lay out here and get some sun, will it? No, ma'am. I mean, no. No, it won't. We'll let you know. Thank you very much. Next. Thank you very much. Send the next girl in, will you? I can't take much more of this. Call back that girl, Daisy. Bye. Next Thursday. <sighs> oh. Oh. <sighs> Harvey, Harvey, it ain't easy. But someone's got to do it. Harvey, why don't you go see my tailor? I'm really sorry. So what's your name? Daisy. Daisy Cheney. Well, Daisy, didn't they explain to you in casting what was expected of you for this uh, screen test? Places, everyone. Get ready for a take. Well, sort of. Mark. 
Action! Cut! Clean it! All right, great, sensational! Hi, Ginger. Come on in. You look great. You want a drink? Oh, uh, I'll get it. Okay. So, uh, how's your leading man? I have found a new leading man, though. That won't be easy, Linda. Too bad he's so inconsiderate. Uh, could this be love? So, did you bring your equipment? Oh, yeah, sure. You know, I've only done rock stars before. Who is this guy? Is he your new boyfriend? He's going to be a big star in the movies. <laughs> you mean your kind of movies? <laughs> What's his name? Is he cute? <laughs> That's him now. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had company. Oh, Bud Cochran? This is Ginger Glover. Hi. You want something to drink? Yeah, you got a beer? Sure. Make yourself at home. How you doing? Great. He's cute, Linda. His hand, sirs. I love him like a brother, but I sure wish he'd see my tailor. <laughs> Bernie, darling, what this studio needs is a nice, easygoing, and easy to get along with young man. And as the sun slowly sinks over the western horizon, we say a not so fond farewell to Lance Hardy. What's his name? Bud Cochran. Have him here tomorrow morning. We'll shoot a test. Morning, Phil. Oh, Linda. Mm. One of the hundred reasons I love you so much is you're always on time. Oh, so tell me another 50 or 60 reasons. Is uh, this the new star? Oh, Bud. This is Phil Parker. Now, he's directed all of my pictures, and he's the very best. Phil, this is Bud Cochran. How do you do? How do you do? Now, I want you to remember that name. He's going to be very big. Ooh, he's cute. Marker. Harvey, what do you think? I say we let him play the lead with Linda in our next picture. Yes, yes, please say yes. We still have the unfinished matinee idol to deal with. And we've got to honor our commitments to our distributors and deliver them a Lance Hardy, Linda Hand film. You mean a Linda Hand, Lance Hardy film, don't you, Mr. Cox? Whatever. Okay. I'll finish this one film with Lance Hardy, but it's the last time I'm ever going to work with him. From now on, my leading man is Bud Cochran. Linda, Linda, we'll work something out. This studio's success is attributable to Lance and Linda together. Well, hell, they've acted like this towards one another ever since the start. Whatever is between them, Sure works well on the screen. Don't fool with a winning combination. Lance Harding. I'm really glad we had a chance to get together tonight. You know, Doris has done some research on what you do, your lifestyle. You know, we're not squares. We, we understand this. Story. I think it's terrific. And I know about your relationship with uh, your studio, Sensational International. It's yeah. fine. I, I don't think you're really getting the, the proper edge. What I'm proposing will, uh, I think, will blow the lid off the market and, and boost your career. Blow the lid off the market? Tell him, Doris. You tell him, Walter. I'm embarrassed. 
She's embarrassed. Lance Harding's advice to women, written by Lance Hardy. Tell them the clincher, Doris. Hard cover, bestseller. My husband will publish a book that you will write. I think it'll make the New York Times bestseller list and probably run for a year. I'm talking something very big. Yeah? I think it's sensation. Doris came up with the idea. I'm the publisher. I'm handling the overall package, you know, the financing. Doris will work out the details with you, how it's going to work. She'll edit it, the whole thing. Doris, do me a favor. Take him home. Go over the details with him. We do that for him. Show him how it works. You got any questions? No problem. I got to get out of here. All right, Doris, you'll take him home. Sure, darling. You look good. Don't you look good? It's great. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> You got a nice place here. So, uh, we're gonna, uh, you want me to do a little book, write a book, huh? I'm going to slip into something... More comfortable. More expressive. I gotta get out of here. Maybe I'll stay. Bad sport. <laughs> With warmest regards, Sensational International Pictures, Harvey D. Cox, Chairman of the Board, Bernard A. Kuntz, President. Thank you, Dorothy. That'll be all. You're welcome, sir. Oh. Hi, Dorothy. How's my favorite secretary? I'm doing well, Mr. Hardy. Thank you. You know, you, uh, you look very... Respectable. Uh, you look well yourself, sir. Well, thank you, Mr. Hardy, for honoring us with your esteemed presence. Cut the crap, Bernie. Get to the point. What do you want to see me about? We want you to finish Matinee Idol with Linda. Well, what about that other actress we tested? Uh, Daisy, uh, what's her name? Daisy Cheney. Yes, her test looked great. Just great. But, but... We got to recoup our money from Matinee Idol, and the only way to do that is for you and Linda both to finish the picture. Well, suppose I agree. Then how are you going to get Linda to go along with this? We've already talked to Linda, and she's agreed. She's going to cooperate fully. And then after Matinee Idol is completed, we can drop Linda and replace her with Daisy in the next film. You crazy? How are you drop Linda hand? We don't need two female stars on one lot. Now, Linda's too old. She's over the hill. <laughs> I think your partner's going a little wacky. I think you're crazy. Linda Han, past her prime, she's the best. I told you, Bernie, they got their brains between their legs. Mark. Action.
nice place you have. Oh. You know, I don't think I've ever been happier, Lance. Yeah? Is that before or after you locked me out of the house? <laughs> Would you like a drink? I'd love one, thanks. You know, you made uh, Daisy and uh, Bud very happy, too. If it wasn't for you, they'd have never met. If it wasn't for you, they'd have never met. Come to tell me something. Uh, you think, uh, you think you could marry me? No. Hard man's good to find. You didn't let me finish. What I meant to say is, why do you want to marry me? Well, let me see. This might take a while. If you say yes, I'll spend the rest of our lives telling you why. This is the first time that we're alone together. And Mr. and Mrs. Cochran, by the power vested in me by the state of California, I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. And Mr. Hardy and Miss Hand, I just want to tell you how much my wife and I enjoy watching your films. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> but congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Hardy. Thank you. <laughs> Ah. Thank you so much. Daisy, congratulations. Oh, thanks, Lance. Yeah. Very best of luck to you both. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a safe trip. So long. <laughs> so you got married. I'll send you a wedding gift. Who? Daisy? I thought you and Linda. She... You what? She what? What? You and who? I thought you were sweet on... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Linda's what? Ah, uh, come on, Lance. Quit kidding. You what? Hello. Hello. They quit. quit. Both, Both of them. them. All, All of them. them. What do we do, Bernie? Somewhere in this whole star-struck town, there's got to be another guy with a pretty face. You, fella, you out there, how about you? You want to be a matinee idol. What did you think of the movie? Did you like it? Didn't it look amazing? The man of yesterday, John Leslie. He's our leading man. Also, the leading man in the movie they're making in this movie. I talked so much about him yesterday. I went down his whole like 300 movies. I didn't know that he was in Debbie Does Dishes Part 3. I've never seen Debbie Does Dishes Part 3, but Debbie Does Dishes Part 2 is one of the best movies. It's in our back catalog. I'm going to try to find Debbie Does Dishes Part 3, just for John Leslie. Jesse St. James is our female lead in this movie and in that movie. You know what? I've only seen her in one movie besides this, um, Inside Desiree Cousteau. So that's going to be a little fun journey for me to take to check out all her flicks. There is a St. James in this movie. 
that has only been in Matinee Idol. What was her name? Linda St. James. I wonder if it's a friend of hers or an actual relative of hers. Only one movie. So they're like, hey, can I just act like I'm your sister? So Jesse St. James and Linda St. James are both in this. She was uh, one of the extras. Now the two old timey film producers, that's David Friedman and Elmer Fox. Don't they do such good back and forth? They're such film producers and they're such a throwback to old timey Hollywood. I love the scene where they're sitting next to each other, talking to the same person on their own separate phones. I love the way they talk to every actor. Perfect at blowing smoke. Kay Parker is the receptionist. Not a whole lot to do in the clean version, but she's there. She pops up a few times. Amazing. One of the best female eye actors. You see her and John Leslie when they meet in the door real quick, like he's coming in, she's going out. They just have this weird little quick thing. The second tier of actors acting in the movie, Angel and Herschel Savage. I love me some Angel from all the Angel movies, Richard Mailer, and Herschel Savage, a king among men, looks almost exactly like my biological father. Except I think Herschel Savage is Italian. My dad was, um, as he would call it, a half-breed on the reservation. My dad was 50% Native American, which made him kind of look Italian, kind of look like Herschel Savage. Colleen Bremen, she was St. James's homie, photographer one of the ones in the amazing new wave costumes and that was Lori smith playing doris the one in the played for laughs dominatrix outfit if i was a real man i would use that as the thumbnail image for this movie but i'm not a real man all right we knocked out so many last week we're on a streak i don't even know i think it's nine or ten days but it feels good to knock out the first of those six vinegar syndromes. There, there's a lot more extra work for me. I love vinegar syndrome. Obviously, I have vinegar syndrome tattoos. I have a vinegar syndrome library in my home. You know, with the Black Friday sale, I finally finished out a full shelf of all vinegar syndrome. I love vinegar syndrome. I don't even know where I was going with that. Extra care and love and attention, precious cargo, as my mother would say. All right, we got a bunch of requests coming up, which that also feels good. It feels good to knock out so many of the re-releases. It feels good to start on the Vinegar Syndrome re-releases, and it feels good to get a bunch of your requests out. If you know anyone in the industry that wants to give Barefoot some press, I will do anything. And no back talk. You listen and you listen well, you're damaged merchandise. And this is a fire sale. That's not that good. Now you listen and you listen well, you are damaged merchandise. And this is a fire sale. You listen, now you listen well, you are damaged merchandise. And this, and this, and this is a fire sale. Well, you listen. And you listen well. You're damaged merchandise. And this is a fire sale. I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow, but I'll see you soon.